possible. I, I was not only told it by lawyers and people, this will never happen. You will never win guardianship over your dad. You know, it takes years to get laws passed. You're never going to do it. Not only did I win my case and get guardianship over my dad, uh, I changed the law. So, yeah, when, when you make yeah. a, a necessity, when it has to happen, it doesn't have to be your dad's dying and you need to see him. Make that about your life, your relationship, your work, anything. If you put that kind of mentality into it, boom. Boom. It's, get- it's all over. Folks, this is Carrie Kasem. She's a multimedia personality, producer, writer. She's anchored music, talk, and entertainment for radio and television. And she has changed the law, okay? And I'm having her at the 10X Growth Conference to talk about how you can change the laws of your life and your business, and have your breakthrough and get through the impossible. So, Carrie, Carrie Kasem, I love you, buddy. Now, she's worked with UFC, Spike TV. I mean, dude, if there's a bike or a rock and roll guy in the room, she's probably going to be there. Yeah, <laughs> motorcycles, UFC, I did it all. I mean, I did my, I had my own motorcycle show where I traveled the country going to different festivals. People were like, you ride? Not kidding you. I got so much hate mail from people saying that's not you. And then I would like get on my bike and just like, yes, it's me. Here's yeah. me. I did work at UFC, which was incredible. But now I've kind of like moved my life into really helping people change their lives or helping people that feel like they can't. Now they have a hope there. Now they like I've done it. So can you. Yeah. And so, I've, so I've Carrie, Carrie a- let me let me ask you. I'm sorry, but I, I get so excited when I talk to you. Because when I see you, so beautiful, you know, you're so, you're just gorgeous. My, and Elena loves you. And, and when I talk to women, particularly at these conferences, it's very difficult to find the right women speakers for these conferences, to, to, to be just completely frank. It's like, who's really living it? Uh, uh, and, and I hear a lot of women say, Grant, you don't understand it's different for women. If you, if you have that mentality, if you have that mindset, yeah, it's going to be different for you. A man could say, oh, it's different for me, I'm short, or it's different for me, I'm too old. Or if you have that mindset, you're dead. Don't even try. Forget it. Because it, it, it's all about what you know is going to happen, how it's going to happen. All you have to do is just commit and say it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen. That's the first step. So if, if I said, yeah, I'm, I'm a girl, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm getting up there in age, it's just it's not going to happen sure. for me, I'm, I don't know anything about the law, I don't know anything about court, I'm, you know, I might as well just you know, take the deal they have in front of me. I'm dead in the water. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, my sister had that attitude. They had that attitude when we were fighting to see my dad in court. It was like, whoa, man, she's given us a, you know, a 20-minute visit with dad with a guard in the room, and we can't bring in any any um, computers or, or we can't videotape or we can't bring a camera in or, you know, I'm like, what? I'm not signing anything like that. But my brother and sister had this, had this um, mentality is that's all we're going to get. We're going to lose. And they did. And thank God I continued on and I won. I won for all of us. And then they saw that and that changed so, their so what attitude. Is it, what is well. it, Carrie? What is it that you committed to? Like, cause I talk about this a lot whether it's real estate or finance or a business or marriage or whatever, or Lena finding the right partner. I'm like, look, the first thing you have to do is commit. Did, did that cost you guys an investment of time and money? Was there something you did? I what- mean, that's an understatement. It cost me my job. It cost me my life. It cost me a year of, of my life, but it wasn't a cost. It was that. And when you say it, it cost me, sure. It, I spent a lot of money in lawyers. Yeah. But yeah. What- the end was an entire my life changed my it opened up i was on a it was on a a five day a week show with clear channel syndicated you know if you know motley crew so nikki six uh and i had a show we co-hosted extremely successful making a lot of money and here i get i I get a call saying you know gene's not letting us see down anymore and we did everything and i remember making this decision the day i had to make the decision i stay And I fight for my dad, even though I was told by my lawyers, I was told by the court, I was told by people, you're never going to win this. Over and over again, I got told, you'll never win this. Even my brother and sister didn't believe we would win this case. Uh, And then I said, okay, well, I'm either going to go on tour with Motley Crue and do my radio show before we go on stage every night or before they go on stage every night, or I'm going to stay here, quit my job and win this case. And it was at that point, I'm like, I'm winning everything. There is no other option. I'm going to win this. 
And I quit my job and I went full time into advocacy, full time with my bill, full time into the court case. And I ended up winning on both ends. So, Changing- so what did you, what did you learn? Like, what did you get from that? And how do I translate? How do I use that in my life? Grant, you do it. But yeah. if anybody else who's listening doesn't get it, take what's most important to you and have that ripped away uh-huh. and then fight. That's the mentality you should have with everything you have in life. Everything. Because if not, but before head, before it's ripped away from you, like just imagine something, whatever, if it's your kid, your kid gets taken from you, whatever it is, that's most important from you is getting taken from you. And you have to fight to get that back. That's the necessity level you need every day in your work, in your relationship, in your life. Yeah. So if you Carrie, how do I do that? How do I do that? Let, let, let's hear Grant Cardone. He's got his own plane. He's got his little condo in the sky. He's got his two little girls. He's comfortable. Sure. He gets to go where he wants to do. How do I create this? I got to hold on to everything. Something could be ripped away from me when it seems so comfortable right now. Okay. You got to risk. And that's what I did. I mm-hmm. risked my life. I risked my job. I risked my house. I risked everything. But the, uh, the outcome was so great. I mean, it was, it was something that, I had to do. It was something that I knew if I didn't do, I'd regret it the rest of my life. You have to risk. You have to be willing to risk. That's the first step. You have to do that. Um, Second of all, you have to get rid of the people who say you can't. You have to get rid of those negative people. You see that in every single success book. You see that in all the books that tell you, the first thing is get rid of negative people. You say it, Grant. Over and over again, get rid of those people. Yeah, yeah. I don't care if it's your mom, if it's your dad, your sister, your brother, your husband, your wife. I, get rid of them or tell them to shut up because if you have those people around you, you're not going to go anywhere. And, I, and, I, and I'm telling you, I got rid, including the two lawyers that said I would never make it. I got rid of them. See you later. I got a new lawyer who believed in it. So you have to surround yourself with people who believe in you or at least are positive. You know, um, and that's that's very important, too. And those are two major steps that I took. Be willing to risk it all and, you know, get rid of the negative people in your life. Have a plan, you know, definitely have a plan. And and the plan to me, and, and, you know, Grant, you told me this. You said aim high. Don't go, okay, well, I need, don't, don't, you know, uh, make a postulate, as I call it. Don't put it out there and and make it, oh, I want to get a good agent. No, you want to get in an A-list movie because if you're in an A-list movie, you got a good agent. Yeah, yeah, Make, yeah. That's your goals so high that everything just falls into place right underneath it. So, so, so if Carrie Kasem, like what you did with changing the law, like literally you made, I mean, you didn't change the law. You made a new law. That's right. So I if did. you. I, I, I changed the law in 11 states and 20 others have adopted similar laws close to mine. And now I'm going federally in Washington, D.C. Yeah, that's amazing. So how would you have adopted this earlier in your life and applied it in your career if you weren't under the gun? You know what? If I would have applied this mentality, this necessity level in my life, I'd be number one on radio. I'd have my own, uh, you know, TV, TV show, maybe TV empire, because I did not realize how powerful it was to to have to do something, to need to. It's not a need, it's something you have to do. And that mentality was so different than the mentality I had been living my life. And sure, I'm successful, but I would have been ultra successful. I mean, I would have been A-list if I would have applied what do I, what I applied to getting the law changed and seeing my dad again. Completely different mentality. And I see people who are successful, but they don't, it's like, my Lord, I see people with talent that, I mean, unbelievable talent, but they don't have the mentality to, to make it. Yeah, you, li- and- you, li- you live in a land of talent, land of potential where people do almost nothing with it. Yeah. Carrie Kasem is going to be with me in Las Vegas, Nevada, folks, February 22nd, 23rd, 24th. She's going to be there working with me and entrepreneurs, men and women, to inspire you to change the laws of your life. Okay, she's done it. She's doing it. 
and she's going to do it with us in Las Vegas. So I hope you grab your ticket to see me and Carrie. It's the only place in the world, by the way, to see me and Carrie Kasem and spend three days with us. Are you going to be able to hang out the whole three days? I'm coming the whole three days. I'm coming with a whole crew that Good. I turned on to you. And they're like, when they saw me as a speaker, they, I mean, I literally got so many calls, Brad. People were so excited. You heard it here, so- folks. Motley Crew's going to be at the 10X Growth Conference. I wonder if we could get him here. Could I get him? What would he charge me to be there? Nikki, I don't know. I could ask him. I have no idea. I know. I think he's. I, I don't. I know he's doing some TV shows and he's busy. But I can. Ask him. You want me to ask him? Sure. I mean, I probably have more money than he has. I'm not saying anything. Okay, Carrie Kasem will be there, folks. Grab your ticket today. All right, Carrie. Also, uh, there's a, a little a side project I want to talk to you about after this. Okay. Um. Uh, that that I think would be great for us to pursue. Okay, okay I'm in it. You know and, I'm in uh, it. I love you, buddy. I love you. Cannot wait to spend time with you. We're going to have fun. Do you want to tell them the pearl necklace story? Do you want me to tell them? Or Go ahead. Go ahead. Tell them the pearl necklace story. Okay. So I have Grant on my radio show. We did like an eight-part series. It, it was uh, it was uh, my, I think, my web idea. show, my podcast. And I this was, gosh, what, how many, eight years ago? I don't yeah. know seven years ago. And I remember he's on and, and we're, we're doing this. Elena's on as well on some of them. But one episode, uh, my co-host Ashley and I uh, were talking about, um, I did a, I had to do a commercial in radio school for um, Hummers, the, the, the car Hummer. And I added that, you know, with every test drive for a Hummer, you could get a pearl necklace. And it was a little dirty, you know. And, and, and I, look at, I look at Grant and he's not really getting it. I didn't get it. John, do you get it, John? With every Hummer, test drive of a Hummer, you get a pearl necklace. Did you get it? You get it? No, he he, he didn't get the pearl necklace either. He get right? You get, please tell him you get it. Yeah, I get the joke. You get the joke. Thank you. Okay. He got it. Okay. So, so Grant's not getting it. I look over at Ashley and I'm like, Grant, you know what a pearl necklace is, right? And he's like, yeah, you know, like jewelry. And I think Ashley and I crack up for the next five minutes. We can't stop laughing. And we have to explain what a pearl, I'm not going to explain. If you don't know what a pearl necklace is, look it up in the Urban Dictionary. Uh, I can't believe I'm talking about this. Search, yeah. search pearl necklace and carry Kasem. No, don't do that. Don't, don't, it's going to trend happen. on Google. All of a sudden, every time somebody searches your name now, pearl necklace is going to come up happening please don't do that please and then that. what happened just to fast forward she invited me to a, a, a what was that a birthday party for your it was it was it was a party i don't know what it was christmas called, or something right and guess my what i did i brought pearl necklaces for every woman in the room and he puts a pearl necklace squirt, squirt. on on everybody and he asked my mom do you like pearl necklaces and he's videotaping this and she's yep. like i love She's like, I love a pearl necklace, especially the Italian pearl necklaces. Oh, my God. I walk out into the party because Elena's in the room with me. I'm finishing up getting ready, and she's kind of stalling. I walk out into the party. Everybody's wearing a pearl necklace, and nobody knows why. <laughs> Everyone has a pearl. Grant Cardone's signature pearl necklace. Carrie, I love you. I'll see you in Vegas, buddy. I love you so much. Mwah. Tell okay. Elena I love her. Give Give her a hug for me and, and call me about the uh, opportunity. Okay, good. Thanks. 10X has been an amazing experience for me. I wasn't really sure.